In this video, we're going to continue looking at uh, how to add different resources. And in this case, we're going to take a look at how to add a link to file or website. This is a very good uh, resource option for you because you can add any kind of document that you'd like, essentially, including websites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn editing on. Once I do that, I'll scroll down to add a resource. Scroll down to link to file or website and select that. Once I do that, it's going to take me to this page. In this case, I'm just going to call this sample word document. Go ahead and copy. Paste that in there. I'm going to scroll down and link to file a website and it will give me three options. I want to choose or upload a file. This is one we're going to use here in just a moment to put our Word document in. Search for a web page. This will allow you to do just what it says, search for a web page. However, there's a quicker way to do it and I'll show you that in a moment. Or I can also put things in Moodle that come with the textbook. Uh, a lot of times textbook uh, companies provide CD-ROM um, material and this is how you get to that material from here. But in this case, I just want to upload that Word document. So I'm going to click Choose or Upload a File. Okay. Before we can add a document to the Moodle, the first thing we have to do is take it from our computer or our C or H drive and put it on Moodle server. That's what where this page comes in. I can't obviously have a, put a, a document in Moodle, have a student click on it, and then it go back directly to my C drive. So it has to go somewhere in between that makes it accessible for students. Um, in other words, we're going to go ahead and put it on uh, Moodle's uh, server at this time. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I've, I've, I've built, uh, built in uh, folders here. You can feel free to do that as well. We did that in a previous lesson. I'm going to add this to Unit 1. Again, it's, it's highly suggested that you create folders for your, for your material so that you can keep uh, this organized. I'm going to go ahead and put this in Homework folder. And I'm going to click Upload a File. When I do that, it's going to bring me to this page. And I'm going to go ahead and browse for that document. This is very similar to attaching something to an email. Just as in the same way, you couldn't send somebody an email referencing a document and have them click on it and go to your C drive. So you can't add to something to Moodle, have them click on that and have it go to your C drive. This is kind of putting it in the in-between space, if you will. So I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to go find my sample doc for Moodle. When I select it, it'll show up in this area right here. And I'll click Upload this file. Now at this point, it's on the Moodle server. Uh, Moodle can access it at this point. So all I need to do is where it says Choose, click that. Once I do that, I'll see in my location, it'll have the document that I, that I wanted selected. Scroll down to the bottom. It's set to default to open in a new window for navigation purposes. This is kind of probably how you want it set up. I'm going to go down here and click Save and Return to Course. Now, when I do that, I'm going to see my sample Word doc right here. Uh, generally speaking, it's going to show up with uh, the W, the blue W that represents Word doc in, in Microsoft. So it's that simple. If I were to click on this, I could pull up that Word document. Okay, let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to add a PowerPoint just to show you that it can do it, um, so on and so forth. I'm going to click link to, link to file or website. Same process. Name it. Copy and paste it. I'll scroll down. I'm going to choose or upload a file just like I did last time. I want to go into Unit 1, and this time I want PowerPoints. This might be one of the things that I want to display for students. I'm going to click Upload a File. I'll have to browse for it. How about Sample PowerPoint for Moodle? Open that. Upload this file. I'm going to go ahead and choose it, and it appears there. 
Scroll down, click save and return to course. Now we have our sample PowerPoint. If I were to click on this and it's just a basic PowerPoint, it asked me to open it. I could get to that from here. Now a note on this, this is about how long it takes to download a Word document or a PowerPoint. It's not really that long, but if you're using it in class, um, sometimes it can make a, for a bit of a transition uh, issue. So just keep that in mind um, as you're building your course. Sometimes Word documents or PowerPoints aren't the best thing to use uh, if you just want to provide a simple set of instructions. As you can see, I'm still waiting for this to, to open up. We're going to go ahead and let that continue to work. Actually, here it is. So as you can see, this is just the tower uh, title Excuse me for this. I'll go ahead and close this out. So if you were to use this in class, and let's say you wanted the students to have their PowerPoints in front of them and you had computers, just make sure you have them do that first thing so they can get that open. Okay, you would use a similar process for adding a PDF, an Excel sheet, so on and so forth. All right, let's go ahead and add a website. I'm going to scroll down, same thing, link to file or website. I'll name this, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the district homepage in here. And down here. Now, as I said, you can search for a web page. However, that's, it's an extra step that you need to do. If I want to get the district homepage, all I'm going to do, or any other page for that matter, is I'll click here. In this case, I'm going to click home because that's what my home set up to. Otherwise, I can go in here and, and search for things that way. Okay, there's the district homepage. I'm just going to right click, copy, go back to the Moodle here. Go down to where my location is. I usually get rid of this. It's a little redundant. Paste. So there's a web link right there. Scroll down to the bottom. Save and return to course. And when I do that, it'll have the district home page right there. I'll go ahead and close this out. So now, when I click on this, it comes up real easily. Okay, as you can see there's a lot you can do with this particular option and resources linked to file or website. Um, there's really a couple things where if you just learn these things um, you could you could function in Moodle without the extra things. Link to file or websites, one of them for the resource. On the activity side it's advanced uploading of files which we'll talk about at a later point in time. But if you just want to use Moodle as a place to store documents and things of that nature, this is the one that you want to use. And that is how to do link to file a website.